Hello, and welcome back to our weird little adventure. Where you're gonna continue on and try to figure out what's going on in this town now. Do a little bit of leveling up, earn some money. We're at level 17 now. And uh, I think we're good to go. Let's see, can we go in here? There's nothing suspicious is going on in this town. You, you've been exposed, you. Don't think you can get away with it? Why, well, I'm gonna kick your butt. You do that. Come apologize in front of us. Hey, you better come up with a good excuse. Or else I'll slap you to 23 times each. Alright. Hey, let's with this rumor. Seriously, a cozy relationship? Come out. Whatever it is, I'll slap your forehead 15 times. Anybody want to stab somebody 28 times? Oh, one incident after another. I'm so nervous. You can almost hear my heartbeat. There's trouble in the Heroes Club in the back. Boy, we are we in a mess. I have a feeling I'm going to have a nightmare tonight. Sorry. <coughs> knock, knock, hello. I still feel the presence of an evil king in this town. My instincts have always been right. I wonder if the cozy relationship scandal was caused by this evil king. No, I shouldn't jump to conclusions. If it's true, then the club and the ghost have joined hands to rake profit. I would be aiming my sword at my own people. But this presence I continue to feel. I wonder where it could be. Somehow the townsfolk seem to look at us heroes differently. It's an odious feeling. Perhaps it's better if I leave town for a while. Maybe. Yikes. Here they come in a horde, never lifting a finger to eat justice, but always first to demand it. Want to know the truth of the rumor? Why, well, I like to find out myself. Help. What do we do? Leader, leader. Alright. Oh, okay. I'm randomly in the back. Okay, hello. See, we all got yourselves in a little bit of a pickle. This is trouble. Big trouble. It happened while I was dozing off. I mean, not paying attention. This is outrageous. Why do these troubling incidents keep happening to me? Uh, I thought all my troubles were over last year. I hear there's already an uproar in the front of the club. If it's true, there's no stopping from becoming major news. Bad rumors will spread about this town. That's something I want to avoid at all costs, no matter what the consequence, especially in light of my election. Whoops. There are lines at the lines from the desk on my face. Um, I mean, this is because of my deep thoughts. Yeah, certainly. That's it. So, everyone, please keep this a secret. Oh, let me give you this, my name card. Come see me if you need anything. Let's deal with it in a positive manner. We'll keep it confidential, okay? Okay. Eh. It's okay. Are you positive about that? Alright, let's uh, see where we gotta go. This is uh, a lot of trouble. Let's see what everybody else is doing. Hey! I like Maggie. But I like Linda too. And I kind of like Rosalind too. Oh, why, well, thank you, Toby. Oh, now my face is burning. This is like getting weirder, but like sort of happy weird. What's going on? Why is everybody lined up side by side? What did this child do? Um, uh, your highness. This boy Toby is from the Spock Cadet team. He's been helping us out. Mm, Toby, is it? I appreciate your help. I'm Marlene. Go on, Toby. Introduce yourself. You can do that, can't you? No, oh, too weird. This is like too weird. This is, like, too much for Toby. What's the matter? What is wrong with this boy? Oh, your highness, I believe he's just somewhere realmed by your beauty. I'm sorry, Toby, but I was born beautiful. I, I can do nothing but to change it. 
This is most unfortunate. <laughs> the nerve of her. Weird, weird. <laughs> All right, Toby. You're okay, Toby. Oh, this is just gonna get me back here. Oh, has gone. Hello, knock knock. Come coming in. Dale, Dale. Why are you gone again? What's wrong with my child? I wonder how long he'll keep tagging along with Maggie. Don't know. This is not good. Certainly. Traditionally, the drill. Folks on the first level have never gotten along, but there's no reason to eat you and shut that up. Okay, nope, check tight. Fine, fine, fine. Um, I wonder. Where's that, uh. Pretty sure it's on the first floor. Going up. Yeah. It's fine. Hey Linda, bye Linda. Can't use a railroad. Let me think. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. You're weird. Okay. Probably gone to work. He's counting spiders. Yeah, you're nearly always out of luck. Hello. Okay, thank you. Hey, did you hear the weird rumor? You better be careful. With so many strange things like ghosts happening in this town, and now the ghosts have apparently joined forces with the heroes. The source of the rumor might be strange. That guy named Batten Gilgan or something, you know? I mean, his name is pretty suspicious to begin with, don't you think? I think I'm right. I sure I am. I'm gonna tell everybody. You do that. Okay. It looks suspicious. Let me check inside for you. I hit the doormat. The unsuspecting resident won't be able to scrape the dirt off his shoes when he comes home. <laughs> oh god, you're so lame. What? <sighs> the dad, he turned me down. Boo hoo. I come home and the doormat's gone when it rains and pours. What's going on? I'm totally depressed. And my bad luck today is it because of my blood type horoscope. Palm reading? Boy, am I blue. Deepest blue of all. Why did it have to be like this? I really shouldn't have been so stubborn, really. Whisker mole. Spotted cat. I didn't mean for this. What am I gonna do now? You okay? Sorry about your doormat. Let's uh, stand for you. It's absolutely ridiculous. Hello. That's great. That might know where to go. But uh. Alright, baby, he's kicking any worse than this. Ouch, they bit me again. I can't reach it on my back. Well, sir, that's what you get. Maybe don't mess with spider eggs next time. I, I, I don't know why you would do that in the first place. Uh, here, you can have a hundred. I'm 
sorry? Jeez. I'm trying to figure out where to go next, okay? This is, this is, this is, uh, talk to everybody type thing. Hey, Linda. Wow, okay, you know, that's fine too. Really hard, I'll scream, I'll wave till my arms drop, I'll scream my head off. So the Linda was talking about is the girl upstairs. What an oddball getting into her like that. Sometimes people become obsessed with fans only during someone's up and coming period. And I see. Maybe there's something else to learn to attract attention from humans. You're not so cute, so I don't know if it will work for you. What about you, Ari? Do you have a teen idol you like? No, and something's weird about Linda. Wow. I mean, you know, there's nothing weird about her. Okay. Me? They call me Mr. Know-It-All. I've never been as fierce as I am today. Did you hear about the club's cousin relationship scandal? Yeah. What? You've already heard? But I bet you didn't know the whole story. It's like this. Until now, the ghosts had a scheme. Stealing numerous treasures from the general public and important cultural artifacts in the town. And it was the heroes who took these treasures back to punish the ghosts. The club oversaw the hero's activity. And distributed the rewards among the heroes so that they could have a steady income. But that all turned out a mere front. The heroes always dealt with the ghosts under the table playing a fixed race. Well, this is outrageous. Everything was a trip to fool us, the general public. It really hurts to see people who you should be virtuous take a fall. Oh, it hurts. Oh, how it hurts. I didn't think having this information could be this painful. Dan, don't come out now. Did you say something? I expect you to explain yourself if you call yourself a hero, too. I can't explain myself without evidence. But I will find the truth, I will, no matter what happens. I can't just sit here while the good name of the hero is being discouraged and tarnished. If proof of heroes If proof of the hero's guilt or innocence is found, I will take it upon myself to spread the word all over town. Okay. that the heroes of protectors are outrageous con artists. Watch what you're saying. Oh, sorry about that. I'll be waiting for good news. You're a little bit weird. Shoop shoop. Hi. <laughs> you guys are heroes. Must be tough with all the rumors. I hear the rumor got started by Mr. Big Ink himself. Ooh, who would have guessed? But this is top secret information. <laughs> I don't believe rumors. I only believe what I see with my eyes. It's 
that's sort of why I say that there are UFOs and aliens. I believe because I saw the very soon. Okay. Okay. Shoo shoo. Shoo shoo. You guys heroes, are you gonna put yourself into it, aren't you? With force. Well of course you are, that's great, so please step inside. And our middle managers think they can call us whatever they please. And so comes to people's titles and other companies too. Yes, I know. Like higher level public servants and professors. But when they become high managers, they no longer know to those people. By the way, did you know our claims manager apparently has a crush on the hostess at some bar? I heard. It's a human gal too. The host supposedly lives on the second level of this town. I see it's the bar is on the second level too. Must be an expensive bar. I guess that means no middle managers can go. Okay. Okie dokie. Hey! Are you here on a particular business? I can't let you in without proper referral. A referral acclaimed by a politician, famous scientist, someone like that. Oh, is that you, Professor Kingsley? Yeah, you got that right. Gutting Kingsley, 45, a wandering genius, a scientist, and a vessel of the century's most intelligent brain. How do you do? Oh, I beg your pardon, but I'm sorry. I cannot let even you, even if you are Professor Kingsley himself, I'm sorry, make me convenient. Please leave us. Some famous person you are, oh mighty great Professor Kingling. Uh, oh, please forgive us, you've been referred to by the head of the research center. Someone on the second floor would be right with you. Please come up this way through the stairs. What's downstairs? So let's go upstairs. Hello, thank you for coming. And what is your business here? In here. Okay. 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 This is this all y'all gonna talk about? I'll tell y'all once I'm gonna use the card again. Great. Uh. Uh. Okay, guys, um, up we go. Oh my god, can you just let me upstairs? I don't know what else to give him. Oh 
Let's just jump him. I don't have any other cards. I have a... I have a... the last four. Doctor, he's working on research the greatness of ghosts. No one has a clue what it's about, but he's inspired to rebel against his authorities. Okay, this is great. Anybody else got a card? We're getting a run around. What if I just give you an ordinary card? Huh? Here, take this one. <laughs> yes, my studies have shown that useless people need lots of red tapes to make them feel more important. This looks evil. Really evil. So evil, I'm jealous. That should be like this. What should we do? Do you have any ideas? Your authority got rejected on the first floor. What about my charm and my magical power? Oh, the so-called temporal rice bowl, a highly advanced comic. What are you doing your research on? Do not make such a racket arguing. I have an M card too. That's it, your highness. Could you please get that man with the attitude? So you guys talk it over? This is mine. What are you, a flower patch? Oh my, please forgive my rudeness. Princess Marine! Please forgive me for my recent lack of courtesy. You were discourteous on a number of occasions, but I'll grant you my forgiveness. Oh, your highness. Wow. So what do you think? Alright, do you finally respect me now? Are you happy that I serve? I see. It pleases me that you are happy. Let's move along then. I'm not happy at all. No. Not at all. Now, why didn't this one take her name card in the first place? Listen. That's just how it is. Seems like there's nothing up there. Okay. Hmm, it's that guy again. Oh, Princess, we thank you so much for coming. I am the chairman of Mr. Big Inc. How do you do? You know, Princess, if you had only introduced yourself from the beginning, we would have been nice to you. It's too late. You must be the guy who's spreading stupid rumors about a cozy relationship between the heroes and ghosts. Hmm. What are you talking about? <laughs> anyway, Your Highness, I have a business proposal for you. I mean, I would like Your Highness to be an honorary advisor. Of course, you won't return, turn us down, will you? I decline. Hmm. I see you're a strong-willed young lady, but the proposal will bring profit to the both of us. That'd be very useful information for... Use blah, 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 blah. It would be very useful for information business like ours to have a royal seal of approval. 
Sign up to your benefit alone. Why should I care? That's right. I'm sure you're thinking of making, making unethical money by using the princess's name. I'm more interested in you explaining the rude behavior of your underlings. Could you be quiet, woman? You talk so much. Mr. Hill is a mall talk to? Oops. Was that being rude? Now, princess, please think about this for a moment. You've witnessed the power of our information operation given the rumor about the ghost and the heroes. That wasn't very nice of us, was it? How would you like it if a rumor spread around the world that you and that kid over there were some kissing? You wouldn't like that, would you? So you understand now, don't you? My proposal is also to beneficial to your highness and that you wouldn't have to make her your enemy. Well, you know that the townsfolk have seen that kid and your highness walking together. It'll be over, over on the streets. Princess kisses pushover kid. Dirty, romantic, and royal. Juicy. Well, of course, the actual rumor would be more graphic and cruel, but I'm a man of class, so... Darn. I'm perfectly evil. Brilliant using the threat of social stigma. A subtle but potent attack. Stan will never have thought of that. Hey, what did you say? Oh, shut up. Keep quiet. Fine. Go ahead and spread your rumor. I will not let your scheme control me. Oh. It appears your highness doesn't fully grasp in the mechanics of gossip. A kiss never says a kiss. By morning, they'll be saying that the princess is in love with her servant. Oh, cruel. Shut up. It doesn't not bother me. That's because Ari and I, Ari and I are truly in love. Is that not right, Ari? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I know I gotta play along! <laughs> Don't get too serious. I'm only kidding. I'm mean, just supposed to show children are just no fun at all. You can't even threaten them properly. <sighs> I really didn't want to resort to using force, but I must insist on your cooperation, princess. <laughs> I am the evil king of German. I've evolved very evil to civilized age, the age of disinformation. Despite the fancy smoke, he doesn't look much different, does he? Is he really an evil king, Stan? You may be a professor, but you're pretty green in the re with the real thing. Can't you see that his magical power has now increased the building? That's not good. Come on. Let's get him all at once. <laughs> oh, wait a second. Let me show you how smart I am. Guys like this just love to brag, and their tails are so repetitive. Some manners for a princess. Listen, I'm much smarter than those other so-called evil kings. First, by spreading dishonorable rumors about the heroes, we have made the public turn their backs on them. But public opinion is still not law. An official disdoubtment by the princess and the people will feel free to act in punishment of the heroes. The shame and persecution will drive the heroes into hiding, then we will reveal the location of evil kings. With no heroes left, the evil kings will have to fight amongst themselves. Then they'll die, leaving me the only one. Then the world will automatically be mine. What an intelligent plan. After listening to the whole story, it's a rather pushy plan, isn't it? Right. He's not as smart as he says he is. No matter. Evil king of chairman, are you ready to fight my subordinate now? Oh no, I'm the chairman until world conquest is intimate. I will remain a dignified figurehead. I will make it, make it a role to lead these royal manners to middle management. Come out managers, section chiefs, sub section chiefs, and staff leaders. Oh. What, what's this? Negotiate, I mean, fight with them. Everyone dies except for the princess. Aggressive negotiations? Okay. That's fine. I wasn't aware that we were doing aggressive negotiations. That is very ugly. That is a hippo. Wow. Wow, Kingsling. Just wow. 
do not put me to sleep. Ow. Let's just, uh, stay healed up. Hey, one down. Get out of here. Thank you. Aren't you? Especially that certain shadow. You're no ordinary shadow, are you? I'm not joining my company, doing meaningful work. I'll offer you top salary and an office with you. You're a clueless businessman, don't you get it yet? I'm a different class than you. Evil and chaos, fear and darkness. So sh get serious. In the name of all heroes at the Vanguard's justice and peace. Hey, you auction us on my line. For the happiness of our people. For the sake oh god, it's Step back, you evil king. You must buy a divvy. <laughs> your house my flies. But your highness, I was just about to. As long as I am princess, I will not tolerate the existence of such tacky evil. Go, my servant. <laughs> You're not exactly together now, are you? You need to work as a team. But never mind my lectures. As of now, I've resigned from the post chairman. I have no liabilities whatsoever. So long. I must hurry to the Escapeless Abyss and the planes. Sorry, gotta run. Can't believe it, he got away. Class, Slate, follow me. He's getting away with my magical power. Escapeless Abyss, we'll find him. Alright, my eventual Mrs. Clay next if I let him get away. Alright, let us follow him. Social damage control, the rumors won't die until he does. We may have different motives, but the same general idea. Let's get him. Well, I don't care one way or another. But no one's listening. Then off we go, servants! Oh boy. Oh, let's go. Down we go. Uh... Down another floor, is this it? Down another floor. Let's just get ourselves out of here. Down another floor, oh god. Where are we? Oh my god, I thought we were trapped. Fine though. We're fine. Everybody's fine, okay? We're gonna get the hecky out of here. That's what we're gonna do. What are you doing? Shoo shoo. Anybody else got anything to say? Fine. I'm just gonna go. He's in the abyss. Holdings. You keep working on it, girl. I'm gonna go. I remember seeing that place. We're good, right? Got ghosts, ghost everywhere. We 
please leave me alone. I mean, what did I ever do to you? Nothing, that's what. Continue on to finding this guy in this endless abyss, dodging ghosts left and right. Until next time. <laughs> <laughs> 